Hi guys and welcome back to another fly tying tutorial. The fly you see in the vise is a shuttlecock pattern. I'm not a great fan of shuttlecocks but sometimes nothing else will do. So without further ado, let's get into it. The hook in the vise then is a Hanak H330 barbless hook. This one's at size 12. As you can see it's finished in bronze and it's on a medium wire. Now I want it on a medium wire because this, this fly is designed for a specific fishery I'll be visiting hopefully this year and it needs to be a strong hook as well as light enough um, because it will only be supported by CDC. Now the thread I'm going to be using today initially to start with I've got the Nano Silk at 12 volt as you can see this is white and as always before I do anything else I'll get a tiny touch of super glue onto the shank of the hook. Now I've only put the super glue up near the eye and there's a reason for that which we'll come on to in a second. So I've just caught the thread in behind the eye and I've got a bed of nano silk probably around half a centimeter and I'm going to remove my rat's tail at this point. Now What's prompted me to start tying shuttlecocks this early in the season? Well, I visited Rutland, which uh, you'll see the first instalment on Thursday evening, has prompted me to tie fly for much higher in the water column. Plus, Phil Thomas was kind enough to send me a nice bag of CDC, and I thought it only fair that I should tie something with it. So, I've stacked five to six CDC plumes, these are uh, natural plumes, I dare say Phil's plucked it from the back end of a duck with his own fair hands and I think the natural stuff is probably the best you'll get. Now before I tie it in, I'm just going to grab my beeswax which will help me grip the, th grip the uh, CDC. Now lengthwise with CDC a lot of people they like to have it stuck way out, it's good for visibility, but I like to have it sort of kind of medium. So I'm going to get a pinching loop over there, just see how it's sitting. Get another turn in. I want to lift the stuff at the front, make sure I've got that little gap at the front, because I intend to cock this CDC up when uh, I come up the, the body of the fly. So I've got that tied into place where I'd like it. What I want to do next is cut in in a slanting motion so that I can get a nice taper down. Now what I'm going to do with the Nano Silk is just build that taper. I'll tidy it up a bit. This is all going to be covered anyway, but it's just for tidiness sake. And then I'll come back to the top of the fly. I've not quite caught all the little bits, but I'll get that on the next pass. So, I'm going to cast off the nano silk at this point. Now, it might seem a bit of a faff having to change threads, but in my opinion, it is worthwhile for the effect you get with a fly. So, I'll just take that off there like so. And the next thing I'm going to bring in is some Simplify Floss. This is the Hot Orange. Uh, now, it says Hot Orange, but it's more... To my mind, it is orange obviously, but it, it's got a ginger sort of quality to it as well. So I'm going to come in just behind the CDC. I'll get a couple of turns to hold that into place. And then I'm going to just remove the excess tail. Now the fly is ribbed and what I'm going to be using is from Sibfy again. It's black wire at 0.1 millimetres. So very, very thin. So I can come in, I'm going to catch the wire in on my side. He says, as it bends round to your side, but it doesn't matter really. Uh, and I'm going to come down and with the floss, it's very easy to tidy everything up. You can see how wide it is as I'm wrapping down. And I'm going to come to near the bottom of the hook again. I don't know how well you can see it on the camera, but my floss is flattened out here, and that's quite important. It's going to give me a nice thin body at the bottom, where I want it. 
and then as I get up nearer the thorax area I can just tighten everything up and it builds an excellent body. Now that's me done with the floss and I'm going to grab my whip finisher and take that away. Just uh, two turns, it's just to hold it into place. I'll secure it again with nano silk when I reattach my silk. So I'll take that away. And then the next thing to do, of course, is get your nano silk. And I'm going to add a little bit of wax here just to help me attach it to the floss. Doesn't really need the wax, but belts and braces. And once we've got that into place, I can then come in with my snips and simply remove that. So next we're going to bring our wire rib up. I'm obviously not going to use the rotary function because it would just remove my nano silk from the shank of the hook. Uh, Rutland was excellent. Uh, last week thoroughly enjoyed it and uh, I hope you enjoy the video it's going to be a premiere and uh, I'll put that up on the the screen at the end of this video hope you can join me I'll be online on Thursday evening to answer any questions on the video or anything else fishy for that matter so I've caught the ribbon I'm going to get a couple of turns to hold it into place couple of turns in front, just make sure it's going to go nowhere, then I can helicopter my rib away. Now, you could leave it like this, but I always find with wire ribs, if you don't secure them in some fashion, after a couple of fish, they start moving around the fly, and it doesn't look nearly as neat as when you started. So I'm going to use some uh, Solaris bone dry here, and... just give it the lightest of coats. Not only does it uh, protect the rib, it also gives it that UV sheen, which can be very desirable in some fly patterns. And it will help with the weight fly. So when the fly hits the water, because it has this smooth UV resin body, it should sit immediately cock the way I want it which we'll again talk about towards the end of the fly so I'm just going to cure that resin, it doesn't take long because it is only a thin coat and the Solaris is pretty quick anyway uh, the, th the thinner you um, apply the coat the quicker it cures and that's probably good to go now so, I've got my body in place, I've got my ribs nicely spaced and what I'm going to use for my thorax material is a blender material. So I've got um, some seals for here, this one's orange and this one's black. And I've already taken out sort of 50-50 and mixed it together. Seals for is quite difficult to work with so I always like to put some sticky wax onto my thread. Uh, I just think it helps when you're working with the seals fur. It's a bit of a sort of brittle kind of material. It's got great flotation qualities, but it's just a bit of a pain in the ass to work with. So I've I've got some of that sticky wax on. It's from Troutline. Excellent stuff. Uh, I dare say you can get it uh, in other guises from elsewhere, but uh, I particularly like this one. It just makes managing the seals for much easier so now I've got that in place I'm going to come down a couple of millimeters onto the, the thorax area now I've still got plenty of left here I'm going to cock my CDC backwards and I'm going to get plenty of that dubbing to make sure the CDC cocks now the reason I've done this is when it's fishing, if I can just find my needle, that's what the fish are going to see below the needle. They're going to see the thorax and the body. 
and hopefully the CDC will be up above where I'll be able to see it. So to finish off, rather than go in afterwards and try and finish the fly, I'm going to add a little bit of super glue to my thread. I think I've still got some seals for on there, but it'll all be caught in with the fly in a moment. And if I bend that back, one, two, three, that will now be going nowhere. So the fly secured. What you may want to do, uh, I like to just come in, trim up any outliers from the thorax. It will get scruffier as the day goes on and you start getting a few fish on it. But uh, hopefully I'll get a chance to use this and the fly is made for Lynn Cluedog, one of the finest dry fly fisheries I've ever had the pleasure to visit. So hopefully I'll get another trip out there this year and get a video made for your enjoyment. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.